Hey guys, it's me, uh, Cupid. I have schizophrenia. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, the Truman Show theories, aka Truman Show Syndrome. Um, I know that a lot of people who have schizophrenia know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so hopefully this uh, hits home for some people. So we're going to start off talking a little bit about the history of the Truman Show Syndrome um, and maybe get into some more awesome stuff that uh, has to do with maybe some theories that people have had. Um, so anyways, uh, back in 2012, Joel Gold and Ian Gold published a paper in the journal Cognitive Neuropsychiatry about a phenomenon that dubbed the Truman Show Delusion, based on Peter Weir's 1998 film that tells the fictional story of Truman Burbank, played by Jim Carrey, whose whole life has been filmed and broadcast as a soap opera without his knowledge. All the people around Truman are paid actors and extras. Um, Alright, so the plot of the Truman Show revolves around the Truman's grad around Truman's gradual awareness that there is something wrong about his life and his desire to escape the town in which he lives. Because of the high audience ratings, the show's producers attempt to keep the show even when Truman begins to suspect there is something amiss in his life. The actors are then constructed by the show's producers and writers to tell, the tru to tell Truman that he is imagining these things and that he is mentally ill. Um... The Truman Show delusion encompasses a patient's entire life. They believe their family, friends, and co-workers are all reading from scripts and their home, workplace, and hospitals are all sets. They believe they are being filmed for the whole world to see. Joel Gold, who is on the psychiatric faculty of New York's Bellevue Hospital and serves as a clinical assistant professional of, psychi of psychiatry at New York University School of Medicine, first began to see the symptoms dubbed Truman Show delusion in 2002 with patients at the Bellevue Hospital. He initially treated five white male patients with middle-class upbringing and education, all who likened themselves to actors on reality TV shows. Three specifically referenced the movie The Truman Show, giving rise to the disorder's name. After 9-11, we saw a lot of delusional content about terrorists with the exponential growth of reality TV and the use of personal webcams and Facebook, some people may be susceptible to developing Truman Show delusion. The danger is self-labeling, that we are creating a phenomenon, not discovering one. There's a difference. Carol Lieberman, a Beverly Hills-based media psychiatrist, says there is no question that reality TV is dangerous to our nation's psyche. The Truman Show delusion has not been incorporated into Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of American Psychiatric Associ Association and is unlikely that it will be any time soon. However, this does not necessarily negate the clinical experiences of the, doctor, of the doctor's gold. Um, there's two doctors. I don't know if you guys caught on to that. Um... Ian Gold says, although the Truman Show film was played as for laughs, there was an undercurrent of horror that was, pa that was really powerful that captures something of what this artificial environment would be like. Imagine if nobody was authentic in your life, if every encounter you had was watched and you were utterly alone. Okay, so I do want to go and kind of talk a little bit about that. Um... I have had the Truman Show Syndrome in two of my episodes. Um, I've only had three episodes um, altogether. Um, each one of my episodes, I've said this before, lasted a couple of years. So for a couple of years, I was watched on cameras. Um, and it is really hard um, because sometimes it starts off, you know, like, not bad, it just like people watching you and being nice to you and things like that, at least for me. Um, but then after a while, it starts to be like, oh, well, we can take advantage of being able to watch this person 
and we can use it to our advantage and we can do things to them and we can say things to them and and they have to they have to listen and they have to do this and they I don't know it it starts to become like everyone is just fake and I I honestly I know this is going to sound bad um but I think everyone is fake in some way or another I think everyone puts on a facade um in certain places and certain things and with certain things everyone hides things um everyone you know plays things out as it, it's a certain way, you know, and, and so everyone is a little fake in some way or another. Um, so for me, I, I don't think that that delusion's completely off. I think that maybe it's just that it's been twisted into another idea. Um, the same with like being watched on cameras. We have cameras all over the world right now, um, that can watch you from all kinds of angles. Um, CCTV, um, people's, cam people's cameras in their houses, um, cameras at shops, um, things like that. We, it's not far off. Um, I'm going to keep reading because there is more information that I'm going to be able to provide that has to do with what I'm saying. Um, the emails I have received since the story broke have brought home to me how terrifying this experience is. It is a, it's absolutely terrifying, and I know that some people don't understand, but it is a very terrifying experience. Um, hopefully people will soon understand. I don't know. <laughs> His brother concurs with the seriousness of the subject matter. Joel Gold has been bothered by some bloggers who have dismissed the Truman Show delusions as frivolous. This is a serious mental illness. It's not silly or a form of narcissism. It's a severe and persist, a persisting mental illness, and we don't want to make light of it. If you think the entire world is fraudulent, that is incredibly distressing. It is a distressing feeling, but people lie. People hide things, like I said. Um, everyone's a liar. Everyone hides things. It's really distressing to find out, but after a while, you start to kind of get used to it, I guess. Find the real ones, and even them may not be so real. So, who knows? We've got the perfect storm of reality TV and the internet. These are powerful influences in the culture we live, and for some people who are predisposed, it might be overwhelming and trigger a psychotic episode. The pressure of living in a large, connected community can bring out the unstable side of more vulnerable people. The Golds don't think the film gave rise to a new type of delusion. Rather, it's a new iteration of a type of paranoid delusion that has plagued people for generations. Throughout history, some people have felt controlled by whatever, techn whatever the technology of the day happened to be. Back in the day, people felt they were being controlled by magnetic rays, mesmerisms, microwaves, or influencing me machines, Gold said. In psychology, delusions are personal ideas or belief systems that people maintain with conviction in spite of evidence to the contrary. They are symptoms of mental illness like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Sometimes patients' delusions can improve or abate with psychotherapy or drugs, but delusions often tend to be chronic. In the case of his patients in the early 2000s, the Truman Show delusion was tied to a sense of being controlled through people watching you via, via things like CCTV in, in a surveillance society, Gold said. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the go-to psychiatric illness index, once characterized delusions into two categories, and bizarre, the bizarre and non-bizarre which were respectively described as impossible and possible but false. I am dead is bizarre, Marantz writes. Millions of strangers are obsessed with me is non-bizarre, and for Ryan Gosling, non-delusional. I don't know what that means, but... But the DSM-5, the latest version of the book, had to walk back that distinction as it should have in a world where the government really does have the capability to broadly and furtively spy on its citizens. It's suddenly delusional to not think Big Brother is watching. In a world where a tweet can almost instantly be read by millions, becoming famous seems more and more plausible. 
So the Truman Show syndrome cases are as much a story about the exterior world and culture and technology as the interior interior one, the mind. Pe um, people can deride delusions as complete mental fabrications, but the truth is often more nuanced, a subtle cause and effect between a culture and a single person. With that in mind, hopefully it's not too much to add another cultural touch touchstone that sums up sums things up nicely. Another Joseph Heller wrote in author Joseph Heller, sorry. Author author Joseph Heller wrote in Catch 22, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they aren't after you. And um I have to agree with that. Um people will use people who have mental illness as a way of well it's just your illness you know so I'm just delusional even though I caught you lying you know what I mean like things like that where well I know you were watching me whether it be on camera or some other way I know you were watching me no you're just delusional um, you can use things like that and it easily becomes well you're just delusional and people can make you seem even more delusional than you are, um, which is really frustrating because in a world that we live in today, it is hard to to really know the truth anymore because there is so much of that hidden underlying truth. Um, you know, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but hopefully that sums up things for you guys a little bit. I just I wanted to be able to talk about the Truman Show theory a little bit because um, it is such a widespread um, thing amongst people with schizophrenia. It has been very well known that um, grandiose, I think is what it is, grandeur, um, delusions of grandeur are a very popular delusion amongst people with schizophrenia. And the Truman Show theory is a very big um, part of the delusions of grandeur. Um, and again, I don't fully think that people are delusional. Um, I have other theories that I believe about these things. Um, and for the Truman Show theory, I really do think that people are watching us more than we believe, um, more than we want to believe, at least. Um, most of the world. Um, I, I know that people get this, that the government watches us. People can hack into things and watch you that way too. I know it seems unreal, but it's the truth. Um, someone can hack into your, it happens more often than you guys think, but someone can hack into your phone, your computer, and watch you through the cameras on there. Um, there are plenty of other things that people can do to watch you. Um, so the theories are not completely off and maybe there is a twist to it. Like I said, there may be a twist to it that it's not completely on point, but maybe close to the reality of the situation. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, please stay safe. Um, have a wonderful lockdown. I don't know. <laughs> um, stay beautiful. Stay wonderful. Stay awesome. Stay amazing. Stay unique. Stay you. And above all else, you guys, love yourselves. Peace and love.